Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do something a bit different. I know you guys love my videos with tips to move abroad, but I've also been getting some requests to do some vlogs to show you guys what everyday life is like here in the UK. I really want it to be like a spring vlog, but we need to be realistic. We are in the UK. I'm not sure how much spring weather we are going to get, but that's okay because Edinburgh, the city that I currently live in, is a beautiful city all year round and it doesn't really matter what the weather is like. And I have a few fun things planned this week, so I thought it would be the perfect time to vlog as well. Just in case you're new here, my name is Sim and I'm a South African expat that's currently living in Edinburgh, Scotland. And I hope all of you guys enjoy this week in my life. We've now switched over to vlog mode and it's currently Wednesday. So I'm gonna run this vlog from Wednesday to Sunday so that we get a bit of the weekend as well. Currently it's not raining and it looks okay out there. And I'm quite hungry so I'm thinking of instead of doing a workout today, rather going for like a long walk through the park so that I can show you guys around and then we can maybe just grab a lunch to go. This is like my go-to route whenever I just want to get out the house and go for a walk. This is Murchiston Park and it's just around the corner from my house. On the far side of the park you will find some steps and if you walk up you will find yourself next to the Union Canal. It was constructed in the 1800s to transport minerals from the mines but luckily it's not being used for that today anymore and you can see a cute riverboat coming down the stream there. The next stop is Harrison Park which is right next door to Murchison Park and my favourite part of this park is definitely the row of trees next to the pathway, especially during autumn. It's just a sea of orange and red leaves, it looks so beautiful. I just sat in Harrison Park for a little bit, went through Instagram and just enjoyed all the nature sounds. But I'm heading over to get some lunch now, I'm really hungry. And I'll also take you guys to another park. It's so easy to get around here in Edinburgh, you can just walk, it's a very walkable city. And there's also a lot of public transport options if you don't want to walk or if it's raining. But the city is so beautiful so it's definitely really nice to explore it on foot. We're now walking into an area called Bransfield. This area is a mixture of apartments but also shops and cafes on the street so it's a nice mixture, it's not too busy but there's still things to do. I am at Meadows Park right now and I ended up getting a pie for lunch from Greg so you guys can just call me Health Queen. It's a pretty big park and it feels like it goes on forever but over the weekend if it's a sunny day this place is packed. People having barbecues, picnics, playing sports so it has quite a nice vibe on a sunny day. It's obviously in the week time now so it's not too busy just like people walking around for their lunch break and it is quite windy so it's a bit chilly I might head home soon but I think I want to do some reading and then I might head home after that. After a few minutes of reading, I decided to head back home, but I walked past this cafe and I couldn't resist the urge to go in, so I picked up a few treats as well. 
I'm back home now and I checked we did like 9,600 steps today so my feet are feeling pretty tired and I just want to relax a bit. I'm planning to watch Fantastic Beasts number two because we are actually going to go watch the new one Dumbledore's Secrets tomorrow. I haven't watched the second one in quite a while. I also have this fun chocolate popcorn bar with some easter eggs on there it is actually easter weekend so i thought this would be perfect to eat while i'm watching the movie so i'm basically just gonna relax for a little bit for the rest of the afternoon hello guys and welcome to day number two of the vlog it is currently thursday morning and i'm actually filming a completely other youtube video today so i might not check in as much today i'm just going to focus on getting that video done i'm actually filming living like a bridgerton for a day so that's going to be pretty fun and i'm also going to be exploring a bit in edinburgh in that video if you want to check that out that video will already be out when you see this so i will link it in the description for you guys to check it out if you want to so the plan for today is to get that video done and then tonight we are going to see fantastic beast number three as i mentioned yesterday i finished watching the second one again yesterday and it was so much better the second time i watched it i understood it a lot better so i'm actually really excited for the movie tonight so i'll check back in again later many hours later it is several hours later now and i have completed my bridgerton video so that's been checked off the to-do list i did not go food shopping and i wanted to do that but the reason why i didn't goes because the main stuff that i need to pick up is dessert for our easter roast meal and i've just had a lot of sugar today so i think i'm going to do the food shopping when i'm more in the mood for picking out things but we are actually heading out to the movies now to see the fantastic beast movie so really looking forward to that Happy Friday everyone! I have had quite a productive morning. I edited a video but I'm getting pretty hungry now so I think it's time to get some breakfast. I have these super cute Easter Bunny crumpets and I thought it would be perfect for today because it is actually the start of Easter weekend now. It is Good Friday. The crumpets were really good and I feel like I should get on with my day now but I don't really have any set plans. I'm thinking maybe because I'm spending more time at home today I might do some extra bit of skincare, maybe do a face mask and then get ready for the rest of the day. I feel like these masks always make you look like a serial killer. It's like really creepy. <laughs> but I do have quite dry skin, so I think this hydrating mask is gonna be really good. This has been on my face for 15 minutes now, so I think it's time to wash it off and get ready for the day. And we are back and ready to go out now. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a bit miserable out there it's not raining but it looks a bit dark and i'm not sure how cold it is so i'm not sure if i should go for my big jacket or if i'm fine just like this the thing is i'm gonna be walking by the way i'm going to go do my food shopping now i feel like i can face desserts again and i've actually decided that i'm going to make some easter brownie so that should be yummy I feel like the sooner we get out there the better and while it's not raining so let's quickly do this went for the medium jacket didn't need the big big jacket and it's not as bad as i thought out here it's actually quite nice crisp fresh air and like i said no raining we are walking through a graveyard at the moment one thing you will notice about edinburgh is just like graveyards are just part of the city 
and you often take a shortcut through the graveyard to get where you're going and it's just normal <laughs> i'm used to graveyards kind of being separate but yeah i guess over the years they just became part of the city routes we're back so let me quickly show you guys what i picked up First up are these beautiful tulips. It's tulip season here in Edinburgh and I thought these colors were just so pretty. Obviously they still need to open, but once they're open, they are going to look so pretty. I also saw this Easter pasta and I mean, I couldn't resist. It was just so cute. It's little Easter eggs and Easter bunnies. And then I decided just to get a few things that we can make with the pasta, like some prawns, halloumi cheese. And I also got this carbonara sauce to mix it with. For the Easter brownies, I was planning to just grab one of those brownie mixes, but they didn't have any of that. So I quickly had to Google a brownie recipe and turns out I basically have everything I need already. I just needed to pick up some butter and then I also got these mini eggs and I'm going to crush that up and add it to the brownies to make them a bit more Eastery. I also realized that I haven't actually had lunch yet, but I'm not that hungry. So I just saw this mac and cheese and I thought that would be like the perfect size meal for now. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and enjoy my lunch. Welcome to day four of the vlog. It is Saturday. It is a Saturday morning and I'm busy making some breakfast. We're having hot cross buns, but I found these super yummy salted caramel hot cross buns because I hate raisins. So I was so happy to find these. And then I also have some yummy Starbucks. After breakfast, we are heading out for the day on a little adventure. We are actually going to Inverary Castle, which is about two and a half hours drive from us. So we are going on a little road trip. Inverary Castle is actually the Campbell Estate here in Scotland. And seeing as our surname is Campbell or my husband's surname is Campbell, which I took on when I got married to him, this was definitely one of the first castles that we wanted to go to. So very excited for our little adventure today. We added a few extra minutes to our trip so we can take the scenic route. Here we are passing by the Kalpies in Falkirk. I'm definitely planning to come back and actually stop and see these sculptures up close because apparently they are over 30 meters high each. In this next part I have no idea where we are but I just thought it was such a pretty road with the trees on the side and it was just a very scenic calming area. It's a few hours later and we are now driving next to Loch Vine, which is next to Inverary and the castle, so we have arrived at our destination. There she is, Inverary Castle in all her glory. The building looks like it's straight from a fairy tale. The castle that you see in front of you was built in the 1700s. Since the 18th century, the chief of the Campbell clan, who is also the Duke of Argyll, has lived at Inverary Castle. However, some of the rooms are open to the public, like a museum, so we were able to go inside and see some cool historical artifacts that belong to the Campbell clan. Moving outside, there are some gardens that you can wander around in and you get a peek of the castle every now and again. After being in the car for so long, it was definitely nice to just be outdoors, stretch our legs and get some fresh air. Up front, you can see where we were driving earlier with Loch Fine in the background. On the other side, we have views of the mountains and all this greenery. So just everywhere you look, it's beautiful. And then full circle back to the castle. Doesn't that look like Hogwarts peeking out there? It is currently Sunday afternoon. Yesterday was so much fun. It was so cool to see Inverary Castle 
and the little town was so cute i actually wish we had more time there but we had to leave because we had a dinner with family last night which was also so nice we don't have that much family here in the uk so it's very special to have the time with family i personally had a bit of a lie in this morning i just had a very chilled sunday morning but we are now busy with our easter roast it has gone from being a roast to a barbecue because it is quite nice outside so we are going to attempt to make the pork on the Weber and see how that goes. We've never done this before. And then I'm also making some garlic roast potatoes with that and some veggies. I was also planning to bake those Easter brownies, but I've just had too much sugar over the last few days. And looking at our little snack cupboard, it is so full of candy. I don't think it's necessary to also make desserts. I'm probably gonna go outside now and enjoy our little Sunday afternoon barbecue. While we are waiting on the food, I decided to start organizing my spices and herbs. In the UK, you have limited storage space and our kitchen is really tiny. So we need to make the most of the space that we have. And I found these cute magnetic spice jar holders and this can then actually go against your fridge because it's magnetic. So I thought that would just free up some space in the cupboard so we can put other things in there. So I'm about to taste these holders and see if they actually work. And if they do, then I'm going to pour over all my spices and herbs and organize them on the fridge. With the jars, you also get these stickers so that you can label what spice is inside the jar. And they even include some blank stickers and a pane if you want to write your own spices on the label. I did find that it worked better if you didn't fill the jar to the brim, but overall it worked really well. So I'll link this down below if anyone also needs to save some space in their cupboard. The food is also ready now. We have the pork, the garlic potatoes, and I promise we had vegetables. I just didn't take a video of it. We decided to watch Moulin Rouge because we haven't watched it in so long, but such a good movie. And then for dessert, we had these Easter eggs with a Oreo filling, which tasted amazing. So guys, this is what I'm going to end off this video, but I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you want to see more vlogs on my channel, please let me know down below in the comments. I had a lot of fun filming this and it would be so much fun to bring you guys along for more days in my life, weeks in my life. So let me know if you want to see more of these videos. I hope you also had a lovely Easter weekend. Thank you so much for watching and then I will see you again in a new video next week.